Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have another lovely box from Anchor of Hope that has been sent to me for review. This is actually their October box. I'm just kind of getting caught up with my two videos a day from now through the end of the year. So thank you so much for your patience. What I love about Anchor of Hope is its mission and how they bring together artists from around the world to support positive causes. It is $36 per month plus $6 in shipping, but they do still have a really great deal where you can do three months for $99 plus shipping, which would be then $18. I do still have a code that works. It is Noel 10 and that will save you 10% not only on the subscription box, but also in their artisan market where they have beautiful items from some of the other organizations and artists that are featured in the box, as well as the individual box items themselves sometimes. Now what Anchor of Hope does is they work with artists and organizations from around the world, often refugees, survivors of human trafficking or just vulnerable at-risk populations to give them fair trade work and also new skills so that they can support themselves and their families and that is something to really feel good about and I love any box that has a give back and it's something I know a lot of you are looking for when you are looking for gifts for your friends and family to uh, be giving in many ways so let's go ahead and get into this box like I said sent to me for review so um, got a little bit crunched in there but here is our little tissue paper and then they usually have a nice card that tells us all about what they uh, do. So yes, here is our card. Got a little curled up, so it says uh, who we are and what we do. Sometimes I read that, sometimes I don't, but I've unboxed this box so many times that you can always go back and watch one of those videos to read all about it. But again, I just think it is a great, great mission. Now, usually on the back, it tells us about our three items for the month, but this time they've done something different, and it looks like they are in on individual slips of paper, but on really pretty paper. So this is actually really nice. If you are thinking about re-gifting one of the items, then you can share share the information, share the story about that item with the recipient instead of like keeping it for yourself. And um, again, that is kind of what adds a lot of the value to those box in my opinion. So let me uh, keep these in front of me so that I can tell you about it. Now the first item, this was a spoiler, again, I'm a little bit behind, but this uh, was a spoiler over on their Instagram. This is from Hands Producing Hope, which is a, a organization with a similar uh, idea, and they actually have their own subscription box, I believe. So it says, handcrafted by a group of resilient refugees and immigrant women who now call the USA home. It's these really pretty little alligator clips. You can see they have kind of an embossed design on them, very good fall colors, of course. So it's a clay hair clip set crafted in the USA. It says Layla is from Sudan and Latifa is from Afghanistan. Uh, because of danger and insecurity, they had to flee their homes, leave everything, and rebuild their lives here in the USA. Hands Producing Hope gives them artisan work, community, English practice, transportation, and a space to be supported and loved during such a challenging time. Wear these clips individually or together and know you're bringing hope to these amazing women. Man, I would love to have had a photograph and image of them, but maybe it's over on the Anchor of Hope uh, Instagram. I'll definitely have to check it out, but let me go ahead and pull these off the card so you guys can see them. I love that uh, one has the pattern is a little bit stronger and one it's a little bit more faint just because it really gives them that uh, handcrafted like one-of-a-kind feel. So you can see that on that brown one, you can definitely see that leaf pattern on this more terracotta one. It's a lot more subtle and they are sort of these little alligator clips that you can use. So these work really well, you know, if you're just putting up one side of your hair to kind of make it a little bit neater, or if you're wearing like a bigger headband but you want a little extra security, it's great for that. Um, if you do like little like double buns, you can kind of secure the ends that way. Um, but really these are very like strong clips, you know, they're gonna like really hold in place for the most part. And I have very thin slippery hair, but they tend to stay pretty good for me, so. All right, the next item we got is a cooking item. So that's kind of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off just because I don't want it to, to distract you. Um, so this is some za'atar, which is, of course is a seasoning blend that is popular in the Middle East. It's a pretty good sized box of it, but I won't open it up just because uh, I don't want to make it messy and it fits so nicely in there. I think the company that puts it together is uh, Canaan. It's 2.3 ounces. Let me see. 
So it says it's crafted in Palestine. So here is our bag of some za'atar. So you can see all those spices in there. It says za'atar is the most beloved spice mix in Palestine. It pairs perfectly with olive oil as a dipping blend. Yes, yes, with some like delicious pita. It says delicious marinade for meat or zesty seasoning on vegetables. Canaan has long-term and fair trade partnerships with family farms in 52 villages in Palestine. They're celebrating their rich food traditions and providing viable ways to grow their business, increase sustainability, and bring their food across the globe to reach your doorstep so very easy way to do seasoning let's see what the actual ingredients are though it's um it's oregano definitely a lot of oregano in it roasted sesame sumac olive oil and dead sea salt so definitely coming from uh, a foreign land it says we are an integrated part of our local community and we guarantee that each of our farmers is fairly paid please read about our extensive ecological and social commitment on canaanpalestine.com so that's great and uh, this is one of those cooking items where it's like you don't have to find a recipe for it or get a lot of other ingredients this is kind of like a throw it on everything um, kind of seasoning. So I do like it. I'll, I'll add it to soups that need a little extra help. I'll add it to like a cheap frozen pizza to make it seem a little bit more gour gourmet, honestly. And then we have one final item, which, wow, this is actually very pretty. I've saw, seen this over on their Instagram as well, but let me show you a real close up here first before I open it up and you can see what it says. So you can see that it is on this nice uh, beige material, probably cotton. And then there is part of it printed in white, but then we have all this gold embroidery that's really detailed and has some really nice texture. So it is indeed a big old pillowcase that says thankful on it. And you guys know how I am with stuff that has words on it. I mean, thankful is pretty neutral um, but I just love the pattern of this and the size I'm thinking let's see I think this is probably like a 14 by 14 pillow um, so you could probably actually put a 14 but I like to do my pillows a little overstuffed honestly but it does say thankful on it in that gold embroidery with the like white outline so let me see if I can read this to you so it's crafted in India it says Mela artisans craft decor rooted in the rich heritage of Indian craft infused with contemporary trends they're preserving the age-old art forms through fair trade practices that enhance the well-being and livelihoods of entire communities. We love this pillow cover because of its simple yet beautiful design. It is a great touch to have out this fall but can truly be a throw pillow that is out year round. May you look at it and remember not only to be thankful but may you be reminded of how thankful our artisans are for your partnership. So that is lovely. That's actually really nice. I think that would look nice in my background. Again, I always say things and make these bold statements about how I don't like word things and then I'm like well it's got gold accents and it's in a neutral color palette so that in many ways is very much what I'm into so I think it's pretty and again it's always knowing the stories behind these items from Anchor of Hope Box that makes the value so much higher that makes them so much more special so while we're at it you guys let's have thankful be our secret password for today I know seems pretty obvious with the uh, season that is upon us but it's also a good reminder so when you come across a secret password in my video like this one, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below. Then at the end of the month, I go through and I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos. You do have to be subscribed to my channel, which I verify through email. You do have to be 18 years or older, and you do have to have a U.S. or Canadian mailing address. And again, it is not affiliated with YouTube in any way or any of the boxes that I open here, just my way of showing my appreciation how thankful I truly am for all of you who watch my channel on a daily basis especially when I'm pumping out multiple videos for you every day and I just love being a part of your routine playing in the background keeping you company when you need a little company so I hope you all enjoyed this video definitely check out Anchor of Hope if you're looking for some unique gifting ideas that can really warm your heart and the heart of your recipient and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.